beautiful Sunday morning for everyone. Today is Sunday, the 24th of March. It is 11, 17 a.m. In which I'm with Bus Trio 1 resuming the removal of seats. In which uh, this recording is because I'm removing the last seat. Yet, there are many seats that still have to have the back cushion shaped, which is a metal frame that has to be shaped. So, before the filming, we've been struggling with this seat for several minutes. And that has been normal with all of the seats struggling. And it looked like this should be very easy to remove because it's not in this typical position in addition to is leaning forward as if what's holding it should be either loose or broke well it's loose but the broke part is me struggling to try to get the break <laughs> and so this is what me was referring to is a middle bolt and the middle bolt if my finger allows me to point at it well, it's slightly out of view. <laughs> but it is uh, difficult to remove. All of the bolts require to get them uh, started is to have a uh, socket set or someone got something more powerful than that but we've been using the socket set here with this tip which is a uh, one half size it's got one half on there and so that will go on the top of a boat such as this one and then at the bottom which is this one then the wrench part We'll go there. So that means it's just like this in the frame. So that means I got to have the socket set on top and this at the bottom, attempting to unscrew it with this. And that requires a lot of strength. In addition to, it's in a tight space. It seems logical to use this, but this is not sufficient to uh, quote unquote break bolts to get them uh, loosened to be able to uh, get them to unscrew so it's been quite difficult with every last one of them but this is the result this is bus 300 and the other one that was filmed before this one uh, is 301 in which those seats are removed but just like this bus, the seats have to be shaven. The metal frame will be removed to primarily expose the black frame that's in the view. Because the, the, the black frames will serve as an ottoman for a seat such as this one. And there's another seat back there um, where the eater is and it will cover the eater. So it will have the cushion place there and then the other seats will be serving as a sofa bed frame and which just for those that maybe haven't seen the previous video this bed frame once these cushions once these metal frame with cushions attached is eliminated then this bed frame will rest on the black metal frame and that will be a duplicate so it'll be another one of these but on this side <clears throat> so it would be a murphy style sofa bed <clears throat> and in the back will be a booth and that seat is removed from its space
is just it's still there, but it's just simply detached from the floor. So that would be a booth in which um, there would be dual booths because the other one on the right side, on my right or to your right, would be a booth as well for a computadora or supper, <coughs> computer or your dinner. So again, um, so this will be the seats that will be kept in terms of uh, having it as a passenger seat. So this seat will remain the same, except it'll be upholstered, cleaned and upholstered. And this frame would only stay, but the back metal cushion will be removed. Over the wheel well, we'll have some sort of uh, cabinetry or uh, storage made to go up high. And so this will be uh, presumed to be a bathroom and hallway. And then on this side would be a kitchen. And as mentioned in the previous video, coming in just past the driver's side seat, which is here. I'm sorry, I said driver's side. But just past the passenger side seat, which is here, it is thought to be that there would be a wall going across. And in that wall would be a, a Dutch door but dutch sliding door so it'll be sliding um up and bottom it'll be a it's thought to be a strong door that's dutch but it'll be sliding opposed to uh being on a door hinge to come out or in it'll be simply sliding going across so it'll be on a track system and then it is thought to be that coming towards the uh side door that there would be the possibility, and I said possibility, of another wall that may be possibly um, too much, but that's going to be figured. Another wall with the same Dutch door, sliding door system. And that's just to help with security and also uh, helping the rooms to be um, cooled and or heated without it being uh, pockets of air, so to speak, where it's just too cold or too hot. So I want to make it to where the um, the rooms are essentially insulated. And then possibly that window back there would be a garage. Well, it is approaching eight minutes. Um, I don't think there's really much to share at this point. It's uh, going to be basically just... Uh, an update to what happened. So both buses basically look the same. And going to have to figure who's going to be offered the scrap metal. And uh, or perhaps maybe me will just have to arrange to get these uh, metal frames scrapped. This has been a this has been and still is a difficult task and it could be because of my ignorance the lack of resource to be able to have perhaps the proper equipment to be able to remove and make um restoration attempts towards these rolling condos but um that's just uh and perhaps maybe it does just simply require quote-unquote elbow grease which is simply manual labor but um but that's the last seat frame and um then after that would be the removal of the scrap frames and likely it'll be a cleanup process after that or perhaps um later just contingent on what needs to be done either inside or outside these rolling condos because being that they've been exposed to the weather I'm concerned about uh, if there's any rust that needs to be controlled. So anyway, lovely Sunday morning for everyone. Prayfully that this video is informative. You're welcome to leave your comments, your questions, your ideas, your suggestions, your complaints. And me will do my best to respond to you. Hablar contigo Roswesi Chapa Ahora. My name is Saruno and we'll chat when it's better for you. Ciao for now.